Hey guys, expect a lot of repotting videos on my channel coming up because I have so much repotting to do and I just like made a new mix up so I feel like I'm ready and raring to go. I'm just excited to do more repotting. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Melissa and I'm really happy you're here. For today's video, I'm really excited. I love monsteras and I actually have a lot of monsteras to repot, but this plant, you guys, I grew from a single leaf. Yes, it was a one leaf cutting. I still remember to this day, I bought it unrooted. It was $30. I bought it through like a local Facebook group, like way before I moved, like a long time ago. I've had this plant. I'll have to look back and I'll put a picture of like the cutting and some of the growth progress it's made. Oh, and I clearly need to get it staked. <laughs> so this is a Monstera stanleyana, and I don't think it's an albo, even though I do have a creamy white leaf on this one. It was just one vine that grew up. And then I recently cut it back probably a few months ago because I didn't like like the one vine. I wanted to propagate it and fill out a pot. And you guys, all this growth literally came from just chopping the plant. It activated like four or five nodes. I made a reel about it on my Instagram at that time, <laughs> but I'm so happy because it literally filled the pot out itself just by activating all that growth. There's a couple cuttings that I added in that haven't really grown too much. So it is very wobbly. I need to get it staked. And I also have a new moss pole I'm going to be testing out for this video, which again, I'm just really excited about. I actually reached out to the company myself and I saw some of these going around and I'm like, oh, those look really, really interesting. And I'm really excited because I have a lot of plants that are in this stage. So this is him up close. They need to be staked but I feel like getting just one little steak isn't doing it for me. And I love moss poles, but I feel like the big moss poles that I normally make aren't really going to be needed for all of my plants. So I feel like having a different style of moss pole is going to work really well for some of my plants. And I'm really excited about it. So I reached out to the company, they're called Thickly. It's their grow poles. This is how it came to me but they're the actual makers of this plastic here. And it's actually, I believe they're, it's like sustainable and eco-friendly. The cutouts are recycled or disposed of safely so they don't harm animals, like the little cutouts of the poles. And I believe there's like knockout, knockoff versions of this pole, like from like people knocking off their product, which is kind of sad. So of course I don't want to support like a knockoff brand, you know. I believe you can get these on Amazon. I think they sell them on there and then you can get these on like through their website. I'll link their Instagram down below too if you want to check them out. But they were kind enough to send me some. And I'm honestly just really so thankful that I have so many of these like poles to use for my plants. I love clear, the clear design of them for one, and I feel like they're gonna be pretty sturdy. I don't know if you can see them that well. Um, I haven't used one before, so I'm not exactly sure of like the design and how it's supposed to work, but I've seen where you just like fold them at the creases and then you just fill with your sphagnum moss and they have these little clips on the end that fold into these holes. I believe one of these is a soil end, like this little piece that comes out fits in the soil so it doesn't come like plopping right back out of the pot I think the soil just like fits on there and then the top part has like an extension piece that you can extend onto these poles and I have a I think this is a five inch pot I don't think it's quite a six inch these are clear pots with a lot of drain holes and so I get these off Amazon so I can link these down below for you as well but this plant this monstera has been living in my cabinet behind me and one it's been drying out pretty fast and I want to get it repotted and I want to get it staked you know because it's flimsy and I think it would do and look really well using one of these grow poles so I'm really really excited so that's the plan for this video I have my water here ready to go. I have some moss I'm going to be adding. I'm going to be potting this into soul soils. I'm going to use their houseplant mix. I made a big bin of it and I cut off like the ingredients and stuff off the package to remember what's in here but I love their mix. 
so I'm going to be potting it up using that. I also have something else that I'm going to be trying. I have not used it yet. This um, Dynamico, Dyn Dynamico, I don't know how to pronounce their name, but they did reach out to me to send me this. I haven't really looked into this too much yet, but the Micro Rizé, I think is how it's pronounced. They're like the um, fungal, they help like, they help the roots grow and take up nutrients better. And, you're, and you can use these for like little baby like seedlings or when you're transplanting plants, like when you're repotting, you just like, I think you just sprinkle it on the root system and it's supposed to help the roots grow. I do have a code with them. They did reach out to me to send this one. So I do have a 10% off code if you are interested in this. I'm actually going to be using this for all of my imports when I go to repot them. And I'm actually just really, really excited to try it. So yeah, I have a huge bag, so that's going to be exciting. And what else do I have here? Oh, I'm gonna be adding some slow release Osmico into the soil. Step one is going to be to fold up this pole. I don't know if there's a front or a back. I don't think it matters which way you fold it. I just love like the clean look of these. And another thing too that I was excited about is that since it's plastic, you know, it's like going to retain moisture in this a lot better because my normal moss poles, like in my environment, you guys know how fast like my plant room dries out because it's so hot in here. And I feel like having some plants in these type of like moss poles is, <laughs> is going to be really, really great because they won't dry out as fast, or at least I hope they don't because of that plastic backing on them. All right, so that is really easy to fold actually. So it just folds like that and then these will hook into here. And so that's gonna look so good climbing up this clear pole like this in a clear pot. I'm just so excited. So this is the top, that's the bottom. So, gonna like fit down into the whole the pot like that but I want to fill part of this with soil probably to like the three lines fit down in here so I'll probably put moss from here up and then the rest of this all kind of stuff with my soil mix so let me go ahead and actually just fill this with moss that'll be the easiest so I haven't tried this moss yet this is the New Zealand sphagnum moss from Zoomed. it seems like it's good quality at least at least I'm hoping I'm just gonna take a handful out and moisten it yeah I'll have to do like a Q&A or something on some topics like maybe on my Instagram or maybe I'll do one on here for like topics I can talk about while I'm doing some repottings. I wanna repot my Monstera Aria and my Monstera Thai and actually all my elbows. Not many of them are staked and I feel like I wanna get them like staked and just like looking better and pretty, I guess. If that makes any sense. And I feel like these poles won't take up as much moss either, which is really good because my Moss poles that I make with the wire take up a lot of moss. Oh, I really feel like I'm going to like these, like a lot, like a lot, a lot. I feel bad, the company said they reached out to me before and I didn't realize it, like, I don't know. My Instagram DMs just get so overwhelming sometimes that I, I can't like, I don't know, I miss things if companies like DM me and they don't like email me that I miss things. But I'm glad they were nice enough though to send these to me. Oops, I wasn't supposed to put the moss down that, that low. Oh my goodness. Look at how good this looks already, you guys. I barely used any moss and it's plastic and the roots will grow into these holes that are in the front. And it's like sturdy. So these little clips, I don't know how much moss I need to use. I feel like that's a good amount of moss. Look at how good that looks. 
And I don't have like, I don't have a code or anything with them. I don't know if they do affiliate codes. I'm just like choosing to share, I guess, because I'm just so excited about it. I saw these and I just fell in love. I don't know if I folded this right. Oh no, I don't think I did. Okay, I accidentally put it on the outside and it was supposed to go on the inside so that that piece isn't sticking out. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. So this bottom part, I'm gonna stuff with soil and then it has these little flaps that you, you know, you release in the soil so that it doesn't come like plopping out. Hi, Luloon. Hi, Luloon. It's so nice and sunny here today, you guys. It, the sun, I was like looking at my plants in the window and the sun is like shining on them and in here. And I'm like, I cannot believe the sun is out. I feel like I haven't really seen the sun like for months. It rains so much here and it's sunny because, oh, I forgot my scooper. <laughs> we didn't really realize, and not, not that it's like, uh-oh. Not that it's like a bad thing that it rains so much here. I guess I just, we just didn't realize how much it rains, like all the time. I think once I get this stuff with soil, it'll be better. So I'm gonna put some soil in this bottom half. But yeah, it's so nice to see the sun today and it just like puts me in a better mood when the sun is actually shining, you know? instead of it being just cloudy all the time, cloudy and rainy. Yeah, I think it's just gonna take me a bit to get used to these poles. All right, I'm gonna take my pot and I'm gonna put a little soil down in here first. Make sure I get those little flaps put down. I think first experience is I'm just not used to these poles. So I think once I do more and get more experience with them, I'll like them. I mean, I love it so far, but I feel like, I don't know, I guess I'm just used, so used to my poles that it's a little bit different, I guess. All right. I'm making a mess. I should have got my repotting mat or something. I'm just gonna dump this out on this lid. I don't, I don't remember the last time I repotted this. And the mix actually looks like I may have repotted. It actually looks like soul soils. So maybe I did repot it. I don't remember. I don't think I'm going to get rid of this mix. I think I'm just going to loosen it a bit so that it will fit in here. Oh, you know what? I wanted to use some of that micro rosé, if I'm saying it right. <laughs> Let me see. So it says here for transplantation to use one gallon, one teaspoon. So I think a gallon is an eight inch pot. And so this is gonna be a six inch. So that would be, or a five inch. So half a teaspoon. But I think I'm just gonna sprinkle some. Yeah, I think I'm just going to sprinkle some on the root system. This is going to look so good on this pole. I'll have to get some little pens, you know, to hook, to hook it up on there. I wonder if my, I wonder if my pens that I use for my poles will work. This mix did have a little bit of fertilizer in here, but I'm going to use a little bit more Osmocote to put in here. All right, not even a teaspoon. Yeah, 
And I'm gonna use the same soil because it seems to be fine and it looks like I repotted it recently. Heading towards, I think, two o'clock here. It is 81.3 degrees in this plant room. I told myself I was gonna like start filming in the mornings, but I was editing for like three hours this morning. I didn't feel like filming this morning. So I'm definitely feeling it now. It's okay, some, some days I don't, I don't mind when it's like so hot in this plant room. I guess it'll be better like once fall gets here because then it won't be like so hot in here, I feel like, once the temperature's outside, cool. But the sun is like beaming in here though because it's like the first time that I've seen the sun <laughs> in a while. Well, I don't think he is gonna fit in my cabinet anymore, so I might be going to move him out. And the humidity in my cabinet usually is like 70s, and out here in my plant room, it's like 50, 60, so it's not too much of a drastic change, so I don't think I would really need to like acclimate them out of my cabinet. Now, if it was like 80, 90, it might be a bit of a shock to this plant, but I don't think I'm gonna do like anything special. I think I'll just take him out and put him somewhere else in my plant room, because I need to start taking plants out of the cabinet. Okay, I am back. Sorry, my, my my camera was overheating. So I'm like, let me just turn it off for like 10 minutes and give it a little break. And I'll probably have to change, change my battery soon too. I should have changed it at the same time. I wasn't thinking, oh well. <laughs> but I'm almost done. I am just kind of filling up to the top. And then I'm trying to decide what I want to use to support the plant to this pole. I think I wanna see if I can use my clips that I normally use for my moss poles. And I think it's gonna be so much easier wa watering these too because they're not like so tall and it's gonna hold in moisture. I am already loving this so much already and I can easily extend it when I'm, when I'm ready to. All right, so let me get my clips and see if that's going to work. And I'll show you the plant at the end too of what everything looks like. So I'm basically just taking the, where the aerial roots are that meets the moss. I wanna see if I can use <clears throat> these clips to anchor them in. So I'm just gonna use a little piece of plant Velcro around the bottom. I might look into finding some like clear Velcro or something maybe, if that's even a thing, maybe something clear that I could hook around these. Because these pens, these pens aren't staying in the moss very well. They work a little bit, but not not like I want them to. Look how good that looks, you guys. I'm already in love. Look at that. Doesn't that look so good? I'm gonna pan you guys closer to see what it looks like. It definitely took a little getting used to. I think it's just gonna take me a while to get used to this but the roots will grow into the moss and it's plastic so it'll help retain moisture and then I can extend on top when it's time. It's definitely not super secure in the soil. Like I can, it definitely has to root in here and then I feel like I could probably grab it with this and it wouldn't come straight out. But it's stable, it looks nice, I have support and I love it. I love this so much already. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys so much for watching me repot this one. I'm really excited. This was one that I've been wanting to get staked and repotted for a while. I have like five or six growth points that are gonna be climbing up this pole. <laughs> it's gonna look so good. If you wanna check Thickly out with their grow poles, I will leave what I use down below as well as my moss pole stuff supplies i'll leave my fertilizer link and i'm actually curious to know how this works this like fungal fungi stuff inoculants are going to do for the root system because i did sprinkle some of that on so i will be able to watch the roots grow since i used a clear pot yeah i'm going to find a home for him somewhere outside of the plant room and just watch him grow thank you guys so much for watching and i will talk to you all soon